Right, hey, we are working with CB. CB is a beautiful golden doodle. And um, this just stresses the importance of weaving these exercises into your daily routine. Um, the client was struggling with getting these exercises into the daily routine, and as a result, CB wasn't performing well. She's still there. Good. So this is what we're going for, right? We're going for a nice, calm dog. Mm -hmm. And before that, we were still struggling with answering the door, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah, so again, the more that we do these little exercises, right. the more calm, relaxed dog we're gonna get. And that's what we want, right? Yeah, and see, that was the worst one. Other than that, she's just, like I say in the morning, she won't even come out of her cage yeah. until I, come on, come on, and, come on. And even if she's going well, we still have yeah. to give her that low dose of nice and calm and relaxed by doing the exercises right. because it just keeps her, you know, it gives her the what for, right? It gives her the daily reminder of, hey, mom's in charge, not you. See, and I've been doing that with her food just exactly like that. Right. I put her food Claiming in. Claiming your food, good. And then I'll tell her, okay, and then if she comes, no, stop. Right. You know? And then she stops, sits right down Good. until I say, okay. So we want to start incorporating more of that in different areas like, hey, when you come on over to sit down on the sofa, if she's following you, we're going to claim our space. Not forever, just for a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. And through in the den and, and certainly with every single door we can go through, we do want to work on door control. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Great job. Barkbusters, a better way to a better dog.